It was named the Rye Riptides Mini Boat, a six-foot kit delivered in September of 2018. The goal, build it, launch it, and track it with its built-in GPS to see where the ocean currents might take it. A group called Educational Passages helped make it happen. When it was finished in the midst of a pandemic, its cargo bay was filled with local mementos, a time capsule of sorts. A face mask with all the students' names written on it. Uh, we, it was fall, so we did autumn leaves that were in wax paper. And we had some coins with the kids. The kids were excited to get money. Finally launched in October of 2020 by a new class of students. Now the plotting and charting would begin. At first, it was good. And then it wasn't. The GPS had stopped reporting back in September. And every single day since, I was checking, as were the students and Miss Adams, and suddenly on Monday, January 31st, a location popped up after four months of quiet. It was an uninhabited island near Samola, Norway. Contacts were made, nearby fishermen alerted, and a big story followed. The Norwegian news captured them opening the hatch on the other side, and it immediately went viral. In Rye, locals have been giggling ever since. For recently retired teacher Sheila Adams, it's about the bucket list. There was one piece missing when I retired, and that was the conclusion of this boat or just watching the boat. So now I'm all set. She is. And on Thursday, students at the Rye Junior High School will meet their counterparts in Norway through a virtual discussion over the Internet. And so the education goes on.